If I was starting my online coaching business again, how would I get my first five coaching clients? You're probably going to think Mark's going to come straight out the gate and give me a direct strategy and tactic. And you're sitting there with your notepad ready to go. Well, that wouldn't really be aligned with my brand. I am going to give you a tactic and a strategy to follow. But I don't want you to be a flash in the pan. I don't want you to get five online coaching clients and then struggle for the next five, 10 or 15 clients after that. It would be wrong of me to just give you a tactic. There are some fundamental things that you need to do when it comes to building your online coaching business. And this is what we spend all our time doing with our clients inside our coaching concierge program. Building the foundations and systems of a solid business so that you can have consistent clients month after month, year after year. So let me explain to you what happens when somebody ultimately decides to become a client. They've been following you. They've learned about you. They've built trust. They like you. This is what's necessary to help somebody come to a decision of whether or not they're going to invest in you. And so when it comes to your coaching business, I can teach you some tactics to go and find these five clients. And I will. But how can we make sure that the new people that are coming across your social media, they ultimately have the same chance of becoming customers further down the line. Well, we need to think about brand, we need to think about content, and we need to think about an offer. Tactically, we can find people to work with. But in the long game, you need to have a longer game mindset when it comes to building your online business. We're going to be going out there into the world and trying to find our ideal audience and then building a relationship out with those people. So, I'll always say to people, I can give you a tactic. We can go and find five clients, 10 clients, no problem. But how do we build the business long term? So who are you first and foremost? And this is important when it comes to building your online coaching business. Who are you trying to help? Now, we don't need to go super niche to the point where we're training you know, women with size five feet that are over the age of 35. It's too niche in the early days. What is it that you are helping people to achieve? I'm helping people to lose weight improve their self-confidence, and eat the foods that they enjoy while they do it. For example, it's just very, very simple. There's three things that you help people with that will go out to a large enough pool of people, and that gives you the opportunity to stop and think, well, what is the content that I need to produce? Now, I'm going to tell you this is the reason why I need to share this with you. When I'm going out to get my first five clients, it's easy for me to just tell you the tactics, but whilst you're getting your first five clients and starting to get results and starting to help these people, behind the scenes, you need to be building the foundations of your coaching business. I've seen so many coaches get tactics, go and do this to get your first five clients, and their content is terrible, their brand is terrible, what they're actually offering people it doesn't look like there's anything of offer. So once you've got your five clients and maybe they leave you after three months because you're not very good at retaining them, where do you find your next five? And then you're trying to use the tactics I'm going to give you at the end of this video. Unfortunately, they're not going to work for your 10th client and your 15th client. They're not. Further down the line, you're beyond five, your first five clients. You're going to have to get them from your social media. Well, if you can start working with your first five clients... And then in the background, on your social media feed, people are starting to learn about you, find out about you, build a relatability, build some trust with you. Then I'm not only helping you here, but get your first five clients, I'm helping you get your first 10 and 15 clients. So step number one is, who are you helping? I'm helping women lose weight, improve their self-confidence whilst eating the foods that they enjoy. Great. So your content, therefore, has to be talking to the woman who wants to improve her self-confidence and eat foods whilst they're losing weight that they enjoy. So we need to talk about the foods that you can eat when you're trying to lose weight and your relationship around food. We need to talk about how to lose weight, how to exercise, how to train. You need to share your experiences from you doing it in your past and what you've learned throughout your career so far in coaching. That becomes your content pillars, okay? So you have who you're helping, your content pillars, and then what is the program that you package that up in? It could be the Lighter Life program. 16 weeks to a brand new you, to losing weight, improving your self-confidence whilst eating the foods that you enjoy. The Lighter Life program. Great. Then I know that I have a, an offer, a, an offer that helps women to lose weight, improve their self-confidence, eating the foods they love. So it's the Lighter Life program, and that's the offer. I've got three or four different styles of content that I'm producing, and I do that consistently over the next two, three, four, five weeks. 
That's the foundation. There's so many videos that I see on YouTube where here's the tactics to get your first five clients. Great. But what do you do after that? Well, as I've said, behind the scenes, you're building the shop window. Now, once you've started to work with people, their friends are going to go on your Instagram page. They're going to tell people. If they keep going on your Instagram platform and there is nothing of any value there for anybody to see, then you're not going to get your 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, or 10th client. So it would be wrong of me in this video to just say how to get your first five clients without telling you that your brand, who it is that you're helping, what it is that you're sharing with people and using your own journey and lessons, a content strategy, whether it's training advice, weight loss advice, nutrition advice, mindset advice, whatever it is, and then the offer. My example to you was the Lighter Life program by Mark Coles, helping women lose weight, improve their self-confidence while eating the foods that they love. That offer is what I say I can help people to do. And then if I keep telling people about that and then I see it on, people see it on my page, then they're going to build that trust factor and likability with me and my brand. Now, how do you get your first five clients? Whilst that's building in the background, you've got to think, who in the world knows me and likes me right now? You see, you've got to go and approach people that are your warmer or even very, very warm audience. They're the people that know about you. A lot of people on your social media when you first start, they don't know you, they don't like you, and they certainly don't trust you. And I'm going to keep saying no, like, and trust in this video because the reason why I started this video with all, all to do with content and all to do with your marketing message and all to do with your offer is you have to start that right now so that people can build a relationship up with you and start to understand who you are. But who are the people in your world that have already built a relationship up with you? Well, first and foremost, it's your friends, your family, uncles, aunties, cousins, and their friends. Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings, and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. Think about Facebook. Classic example. If you go on Facebook and see a friend of yours, and when you look at that, it says 20 friends in common. Well, if you've got 20 friends in common, that means that those people, all of those people, they will know you or know of you. So if I sat down with my brother and said, hey, bro, you know, I'm just starting out as a personal online coach. I really want to work with people. Now, I'm going to be doing a heavy discount, but I would really love your help. Who is there that you know that would know me that would be interested in getting in shape? Great. Let's sit down and write a list. Sis. Hey, sis. I looked on Facebook. I know you've got loads of friends that know of me, know me. But how many people do you think with their names and their phone numbers that you could reach out to or help me with that would potentially want some coaching. Hey dad, hey mum, hey uncle, hey auntie, and you create a list of 25 to 50 people. Now if you've got five family members, that's 250 people. Do that for even more, you can get 300 people. I've got a list. I've got my phone book. You open up most people's phone books, there's a huge amount of numbers in here. Okay, these are all potential leads. There are people that you could have a conversation with. There are people that you can make a proposal to. Your phone book, old emails. Now, when I was a personal trainer back in the day at LA Fitness, I remember when people used to join the gym, somebody said to me, get their email, get their email. I didn't know why, but I had this massive spreadsheet four years later of so many people that joined the gym. Uh, back then, GDPR wasn't a bit of an issue, but you can still collect emails from in your Outlook folder, your Hotmail folder, all people that have either spoke to you about training, they know you from the past, it's an email database. You put that on an Excel spreadsheet, you have a full database. If you've been a personal trainer, you've got XPT clients. XPT clients that are perfect for online, but they're now no longer in your world. They don't work with you. So we've got friends, family, mums, dads, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, that you could sit down with each person individually and say, how many people do you know that if I reached out to them, there'd be a potential that they would be interested in doing some degree of coaching with me? Boom. Your phone book, whole list of people in there that you can pull out, bang. You've got a huge list of people. And then you've got XPT clients. And what do you do with all these people? Well, when people turn around to me and say, Mark, I've only got 150 followers on Instagram. There's no way I can build my business. I'm like, that's absolute rubbish. It's rubbish. 
throughout your life so far, you've built a database and a network of people. You just don't have it in front of you. You don't have a spreadsheet in front of you. You don't have an email list in front of you. You don't have your phone book in front of you. Then you suddenly realize, wow, there's a lot of people. Now, sorry to say this because you're not going to like to hear it. I call it the dirty work. The dirty work in building a business until you've got a reputation and people come to you is you've got to go out to them. You have to go out to people and make a proposal to somebody. They have to like you and know you to a certain degree initially, and then there needs to be a proposal. I'll give you an example. Hey, John, I've just launched my brand new online coaching business where I'm helping men lose weight, improve their self-confidence whilst being able to maintain their social life, something that I know a lot of my clients have always wanted. Now, as a special introductory offer, I'm offering five people maximum the opportunity to go through my 16-week, 12-week program with me at a 50% discount. Is this something that would be appealing or of interest to you? Let me know. Script. Done. And then I change the first name and I send it to every single person on that list. Now, most of you, even though you're probably using Instagram to grow your online business, have also got a Facebook. And on your Facebook, you might have 300, 400, 1,000 friends. You look at the people that have got friends in common. You go, hey, Anna, I know you're a friend of my brother. Um, I hope you don't mind me reaching out, but I've just started my online coaching business. I'm looking for five people. I'm giving a 50% discount. I'm going to help women lose weight, improve their self-confidence whilst eating the foods that they love. Brilliant. If this is something of interest, let me know. And you sit... I call it the dirty work and you go over and over and over and again to these people, okay? And then you say, you know, the offer's available till, let's say, what are we on? 2nd, 3rd of January right now. We say the offer's available till the 10th of January. Let me know. And then on the 9th of January, you just drop them all a message and you just say, hey, didn't hear back from you. Just wanted to know if you're interested in the above. So you do an initial follow-up, okay? So you put a deadline on it. It's a 50% discount to involve themselves in the coaching with you. Specifically, the actual thing that is that is you, you are going to help them with and then you give them this deadline and the time frame and then you follow up with people now i will tell you this right now 150 to 200 pounds a month up front 450 to 600 pounds for three months and you get five clients that's between two and a half and three thousand pounds in your bank bang you can cash you can bank three thousand now in, in a situation like this i always say to coaches if you can use this video to bank yourself three to 4,000 from reaching out to your phone book, your old emails and XPT clients. And then what you do is you turn around and go, well, the content side of it's really tricky for me. The lead generation side is really tricky for me. Trying to get clients on social media. I've done it with my friends, family, uncles and aunties, brothers and sisters. Mark, you've helped me so much. What's next? And I'd say, earn the money and reinvest the money to find a mentor that will teach you the details of digital marketing to how to grow your Instagram following, audience attention and sales. Because the first bit I taught you in this video was, please don't be fooled into thinking that reaching out to your family and friends is going to get you beyond five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not. They're your initial pool of people. And then you're like, well, I've only got 250 people on Instagram. Great. You need more people, more eyeballs, better attention, better content, and actual proof that you can actually do the thing that you say that you can do. When all this is done, then you need somebody to help you scale that and grow that and get more people and more attention. That's where I would make my first money and I'd reinvest it to get somebody to teach me how to do that moving forward. So can you get your first uh, five online clients? Yes. Are they going to be a dream client? No. Are they going to stay with you beyond three or four months if you can't, uh, haven't developed your coaching skills enough to be able to get a result with them in that time frame? No. If you can, amazing. Okay. But you'll learn that as your coaching career develops. But just some important things for me to say to you here before I finish. Number one is don't try and get new clients following this strategy without taking my first piece of advice with building your, your actual audience, um, your brand, your content, and your offer. Because once you've got your first five, you're going to want your next five, and that's where you're going to get them from on social media, okay? Make sure when it comes to getting your five that you are reaching out to people, following up with people, and once you've got your first five, then reinvest your money, get somebody to help you to take your marketing to the next level and beyond. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. Five clients are there for you. You know, a lot of people overcomplicate it because they're not prepared to do the dirty work. You know, if you found it helpful, please do me a favor, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on iTunes, please send me a message on Instagram, share on your stories, help more coaches uh, take their business to the next level, live a fulfilled and happy career. Take care.